Hey y'all, today I'm here to share with you my favorites for the month of November. And this month it's mainly makeup products, um, actually a ton of lip products. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first item I have here is this Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And this is Whisper of Guilt. And this is a gorgeous, uh, just light gold color. Let me swatch it. That's what it looks like. And it just provides a nice golden sheen to the cheek. Um, I use it as a highlighter, but I'm also probably going to use it as a eyeshadow as well. Alright, so next up is a nail polish. And this is China Glaze's Fast Track. So if you read my blog, you should already know that I have a post on this um, where I have a nail of the day. But I really like it. Let me see if I can get that to focus. So it's it's a tan base with uh, micro shimmer in it. It's very, very pretty. It's like golden and green micro shimmer. And it's something that's very neutral. So you don't have to feel funny about wearing it to work at all. But it still has that extra little something with the micro shimmer in it. So I really, really like that. Very glad I bought it. Plus, I got it on clearance at Ulta, so that's always a plus. Um, let's see. Everything else I have on my table here is lip products. Oh, no, no. I have an eyeliner. I'm sorry. So, my eyeliner I have is this Milani Liquify Eyeliner. And this is not a new product, but I just kind of just started back using it. I had kind of put it aside for quite a long time, um, but I've been really liking it to do my waterline because it's brown uh, but it's very it has very good pigmentation uh, let me see so that's what it looks like see how dark it is so it's definitely brown but it's really dark so it still gives a lot of definition to my eyes without being so harsh for the daytime um okay so yeah now the rest of everything else here is lip products so the first is a lip liner and this is prune by nyx it's a purple swatch that that's it right there and i really like this um the way i've been wearing it sometimes it's just to use it as a lip liner fill in all over my lips and then just put a gloss on top and that looks really nice um it's a purple that i feel comfortable wearing to work but still pretty purple um, and then what I've also been doing is just using it with different lipsticks. So I use this with Violetta by MAC. I've also used it with, um, I've used it with Rebel by MAC. Uh, if I don't want Rebel to look so dark, I'll use this instead of a darker lip liner. So I've really been enjoying this. Let's see. Next up is this Revlon Just Bitten kissable balm stain let's see what's the color on this the color is cherish devotion okay but this is what it looks like and if you haven't seen these yet they are stains that go on glossy like a balm um, so they're pretty moisturizing and then um, the stain continues to last over for a while this is the only shade that I have but I really do like this one let me see you might not be able to see it. Uh, kind of hard to see, but that's it there. But it's really just a, um, it's a pinky lavender color. And I just think it really suits my skin tone. Plus it's easy to wear, something I can take with me to work. That's only one product. And I don't have to take a, an extra lip balm with me um, if I'm using that product. I mean, it's not super, super moisturizing, but it doesn't, make my lips dry out like other stains which brings me to um i bought one of the tarte gift sets gift sets with the um chubby what are these called oh lip surgeons lip tints and i just got it like a week ago so or less than a week ago so i can't really give a review on that yet but let me on let me know in the comments if you all would like to see a comparison on the tarte versus the revlon Alright, next lip product I have here is MAC Outrageously Fun. 
And I'm sorry to show this to you all because it was limited edition. It sold out pretty quickly. You still might be able to find it at some of the counters just depending on where you go. But it is so, so pretty. I don't even need a lip liner with this. Is there? I don't know if that's showing up well. I'm sorry. I just got a new camera, so I'm trying to figure out how to work it. <laughs> but anyway, back to the lipstick. This is like a um, like the perfect magenta color. It's a perfect mix between pink and purple, and I love it. It it just looks very flattering on me. It's kind of similar to the Revlon um, Balm Stain, but this one is a lot more pigmented and it. It pops a lot more so I can wear this in the daytime but I mainly wear it at night okay, and then as far as my last lip product I have these Revlon I'm sorry Maybelline <laughs> uh, these are the Maybelline um, color sensational high gloss lip glosses so I also did a review on these on my blog so um, if you'd like to see more detail on it, check out my blog. I'll leave the link below. But my favorites out of the bunch is, um, let's see, I have two favorites. So one is Luminous Latte. And it's just a pretty nude color. And then the next is Mirrored Mauve. And it's a mauve color. <laughs> Um, but I have five colors all together. So check out my blog post if you want to know more about these lip glosses or want to see swatches of them. So that's it for makeup. I do have one random favorite this time around. And it is this pumpkin brulee candle. And this is the Soho Living category of Yankee candles. I usually buy these at TJ Maxx. Um, I think this big candle was only $9.99. So you can find them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I believe. And in one of my videos, I show where I bought this and it smells just like the, the Bath and Body Works. I think it was like pumpkin latte candle that they had for fall. This one smells just like that, um, but at the time when I bought it, Bath & Body Works was not having a sale, so I bought this one instead. But I do really like it. Um, I don't think it's as heavily scented as the Bath & Body Works one, but I do, I burned two candles a time in my great room, my living room at my house, and, and it's pretty, a pretty large open area, and that makes my room smell heavenly. Um, also these burn really really slow I've been burning these pretty much every night for like a month and this is how far I've gotten that's it and actually the other night my husband was supposed to blow out the candles and he left one of them burning and our house didn't burn to the ground so that's a good thing <laughs> also the candle didn't even burn out that much so that's a great thing as well so yeah I guess that is it for my favorite. Oh, no, I have one more favorite. <laughs> um, my husband let me turn one of our rooms in our house into a closet slash office slash makeup room. So that has probably been my biggest favorite this month, just getting that together, organizing it, um, and having my own little girl cave. So thanks to my wonderful husband. Um, if y'all want to see how I set up my makeup here, leave me comments down below. Uh, I'm not completely done with this room, but I'm pretty much done. So if you want to see what it looks like, let me know and I'll be sure to either put pictures on my blog or do a video, you know, depending on what you all want to see. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One more question for you. Um, the new camera I got is the Sony Alpha Nex, uh, what is it, 5R? So if you have this camera and you have any tips or um, any tricks on it, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to get some help on it. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to figure it out. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gone for real time. Bye.